so we, we, it's it's very pleasing to know that we are pushing we are pushing cons constantly um, the the goalposts to get to a full compliance market. If you listen to what I said recently and when we launched the first credit, we had this long-term strategy. Given that there is no compliance market in the UNFCCC process and has, we've suffered from this for 20 years, the inability, when I say we, I mean the forested countries, to get them to move closer from, from the Kyoto Protocol all the way to the Paris Agreement and just recently the COP in UAE when Article 6 didn't move forward very far. So Guyana decided that it had to have a phase approach and we can't be left out. We can't wait for the compliance market to benefit from these credits. So we first, we had a bilateral arrangement. Then now we have a operating with a, a market-based arrangement through the HES deal with a willing buyers. Now we have moved it forward to a compliance market, but a limited compliance market. And we are now fighting to have a full compliance market where their credits could be fully traded and the prices can escalate. And we have a built-in mechanism for any, any, for sharing the benefits for any trading in secondary markets. 